the violent eruption of Tongasunga Tongahunga Hapai volcano injected an unprecedented amount of water directly into the stratosphere, and the vapor will stay there for years, likely affecting the Earth's climate patterns, NASA scientists say. The massive amount of water vapor is roughly 10% of the normal amount of vapor found in the stratosphere, equaling more than 58, 000 Olympic-size swimming pools. We've never seen anything like it, said atmospheric scientist Louise Milan, who works at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Milan led a study of the water the volcano sent into the sky, the team's research was published in Geophysical Research Letters. The January 15th eruption came from a volcano that's more than 12 miles wide, with a caldera sitting roughly 500 feet below sea level. One day earlier, Tongan officials reported the volcano was in a continuous eruption, sending a three-mile-wide plume of steam and ash into the sky. Then the big blast came, sending ash, gases and vapor as high as 35 miles, a record in the satellite era, into the atmosphere. Drone aircraft and other video from that day show the dramatic scale of the blast, as the volcano launched an incredibly wide plume into the sky. The intense eruption sent a pressure wave circling around the Earth and caused a sonic boom heard as far away as Alaska. Earlier large volcanic eruptions have affected climate, but they usually cool temperatures, because they send light scattering aerosols into the stratosphere. Those aerosols act as a sort of massive layer of sunscreen. But since water vapor traps heat, the Tongan eruption could temporarily raise temperatures a bit, the researchers said. It normally takes around two to three years for sulfate aerosols from volcanoes to fall out of the stratosphere. But the water from the January 15th eruption could take 5 to 10 years to fully dissipate. Given that time frame and the extraordinary amount of water involved, Hunga Hunga Hapai may be the first volcanic eruption observed to impact climate not through surface cooling caused by volcanic sulfate aerosols, but rather through surface warming, the researchers said in their paper. NASA says the data for the study came from the Microwave Limb Sounder MLS, instrument on its Aura satellite, which measures water vapor, ozone, aerosols and gases in Earth's atmosphere. The January 15th eruption emphatically disrupted annual water patterns in the stratosphere, which also holds most of the atmosphere's ozone, 